So we're here in Florida in the core, and we're going to be heading in to go look at a stone for the homeowners association for one of the new builds that we're doing. And one of the big things is just documenting the process of how all of this works. So before we can get our building permits, the homeowners association has to approve and sign off on all of our stuff. Now, what we'll do today is we'll get samples for them to be able to look at and um, approve or disapprove, and we'll get stuff that they'll approve. But we'll show you how the process is done. Come join me inside. So if you look at the plans, we have accent towers on the build. And so the material that we're picking up today, we're allowed three different colors. When we wrote up the HOA docs, we allowed three different exterior colors. So that includes like your trim work around your house, your soffits and around the, uh, the house, the garage door colors and all your door trim and everything. Then the uh, second color is typically the main color of the house. Um, so that's stucco in our, um, in, in our area, what we predominantly use. And then third, um, we do an accent stone a lot of times. Now, there's been times where I've allowed four colors on my homes only because I'll do two colors of stucco, especially these modern builds. When these HOA docks were built though, we weren't doing two colors of stucco. Uh, stucco and the modern, the trend of modern building still wasn't quite there yet. It was more Tuscan, and Mediterranean, Spanish style homes that had trended really aggressively. Now, um, what's trended is all of this mid-century modern look and so it's really nice when we, um, when we wrote up the, the next subdivision that we did um, just uh, a few years back, we incorporated that into that mid-century modern look and we accounted for four colors instead of three. Um, but we have to comply since we have some lots in this in particular area where there's, um, it's, it's an older subdivision, we have to comply with the original HOA requirements and some of the new modifications that they've actually implemented and made to those HOA documents. And so what we're going to be doing is um, picking out a stone that complies with us. We'll do one stucco color, one accent stone, and then um, our trim and soffit color. That's our three colors. Um, now, if it was in one of our subdivisions, we maybe we'd do two different stucco colors and do the bump outs a different color, do our accent stone. That looks really sharp. If you've seen some of our other homes um, that have the four color variation in our exterior builds, they look sharp. So anytime we do HOA build um, write-ups now with our attorneys, um, from now on, we'll consider doing four colors as opposed to the three. And the reason we do that and we limit the colors is so that people don't have all kinds of different variables on their house. Multiple colors of stucco, multiple colors of windows, multiple colors of doors, multiple colors of trim. Um, it's to keep everything looking really professional and really, uh, um, um, and really keep a status quo within the subdivision to set higher expectations for consistency of quality throughout without having huge variables and we'll even restrict certain colors like in this area because more of a mountain area more rural we restricted white stucco completely from the builds and even some of the lighter tone grays and that's specifically written in our homeowners association doc so that's the type of stuff that you guys want to read prior to, bu uh, to building and doing your designs you don't want to do your designs then read the HOA docs and realize that you have to redo your entire designs based on the homeowners association requirements so um, so here we are, and we're going to get this stone picked out, picked up, and get out of here. So I'm going to give them two samples. I'm going to get um, the Homeowner Association two different samples. And the reason why is we're right now, if you look at some of the shelves here, there's missing inventory. And so it's a little tougher to get inventory right now. So instead of just getting one option approved, I'm going to get two options approved of two different stones I like for our accent pieces on our houses. That way I don't have to go back for resubmittals later. May as well just kill two birds with one stone get um, whatever materials I need now and get approval for both them knowing that I'm only going to use one of the two options but I'm gonna get approval for two different options right now and I might even take three if just in case they disapprove this one's white it's a little lighter and I have a clause in that HOA written that there's no white uh, stucco depending on how the individual that's managing the HOA um, depicts and looks at that they could say that this is too light based on the HOA requirements depends how difficult they want to be um, we've used this um, exact stone in that uh, in that subdivision before, but it doesn't matter what we use prior. All that matters now is 
how they perceive it today and who is the, is actually the president and the, on the board of the homeowners association. So I'm going to get multiple options. So what I'm doing here is I want to make sure I know I remember because life's busy. I'll go on my own little way and I'll forget where I picked. And there's a few of these stones that look very similar, but I, I just like this one. It's white. The reason I like this one is I like the color. It fits in with that mid-century modern look. The house is going to be slightly darker than this. And so this will really pop. And this has like that shell, that's that seashell look to it. It doesn't have that, you know, I'm like, I don't like like all these browns and stuff right now. This type of stuff right now is that overplayed. This is this was popular when that Tuscan look was good. This was real popular when the um when all that earthy tones were good. But they're just too dark now. Like this stuff is too rig too rugged. If you're doing like a Mediterranean home or something, that stuff's nice. It's still a nice product, just not for the mid-century look. You know, this stuff is dated in my opinion. I don't I don't like the way that stuff looks on the houses that we're doing now. So if you look at like all this stuff that's darker toned, it's just not, um, it's not what's in. A lot of these lighter hued colors are what's in right now. So I like this type of stuff. Come with me, I'll show you some more stuff I like. I like this type of stuff. Although this starts getting more, again, into the browns. But this is safe, right? So if you want to stay with those natural tones, but you still want to incorporate the lighter tones, I like the lighter whites better. These have just a little bit darker, but it still gives it this type of look with a little bit of that natural color in there. And then, see, see, once you get to these hues right here, too dark. This is a little too much. This is nice. This is nice. This will fit into that mid-century modern look. Um, you know, that's a nice look. Um, all these are nice. All these grays and whites are nice up here. Although I'm not, I don't care for a lot of the quartz with the sparkles and stuff in them. I, I like more of the matted look on it. It just tends to look a little nicer. Than I really like that stone as well. That's a good looking stone as well. In fact, I'm gonna take that as our third option. So our first option, our first option is gonna be a little more sleek. It's gonna be less uh, jagged and rough. Our, our first option is gonna be a little bit more sleek. When I say sleek, I'm talking about a smoother stuff. Plus, you get a sleek look. Price is about $3 a square foot less, and it covers more area. Less waste. These blacks and stuff are real popular, but I don't like blacks just because of the way um, the mineral deposits from the exterior waters land up um, leaving on those over the course of time. I love, I love travertine, and so that travertine is real nice. All this, a lot of this stuff is travertine. Oh, this is nice. This would be real nice. I like this. This is all marble tile. That's different. Ooh, look at this. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty. I really like this. This is pretty. The reason I like this, it draws out on the stucco colors. We have some of the natural hues from the main color of the house, but we get, this will mix in with some of the lighter hues and tones and all the variables in here. When you drive by that house, this will look unique. This will look really nice. This doesn't look like, like traditional travertine, but it is. This is, a, this is an aqua silver uh, vein cut home travertine tile. This is pretty. I really like this. This is the travertine that you see at Home Depot. This is the travertine that you've seen in the Tuscan style builds for years. Um, all of this type of, of traditional um, Caria light honed travertine is very popular. Um, this type of stuff. This right here, this is pretty. I don't like this for a floor inside the house, but as an accent color to the uh, to the pillars outside, as opposed to the other stone is our, is our second option. This would be my first option. Let's get a piece. Now again, we look at the inventory. The inventory is sparse, so we may have to special order this. But what I like about uh, floor and decor is they have multiple locations throughout the, the country. And so yeah, if I, uh, I'm, I do a lot of business in Phoenix and I can trailer this stuff back if we need to. I can have one of our guys trailer it back if need be. All right. Look at this, look at this house that they're showing it in. This is an interior. More of a mid-century modern, 
but you see the picture in here is more of, of a modern look to it. I won't use this on the floors inside the house. Um, that price right there is a little more rich than I would put on a full interior of a home. Um, and plus, I don't know if it's too much for the interior. That looks a little busy to me. Um, I like a little bit more neutral. Still the, the wood plank floors on the ceramic tile look still is real popular. But if you notice, we have a 16th inch spread on these grout lines. That's the way we'll put it on our exterior with a 16th inch spread. Real clean and sharp, real sleek and sharp. I like this look. I'll pick the one for HOA approval that gives me the most color variable. So if you look at that one, there's not a lot of color variability in that. I just don't want them to hassle us later. So I want to try to pick a tile that gives us that color variation. So that way they have the variables in there that, that they're going to see the different colors and sways of colors. So when we look at this, the way this is actually shown, we're showing a good mixture of all the colors in this one piece. So I'll take this one for HOA approval.